Hello and welcome to Flooring Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Clear Pops latest release. This is the 172nd OV1 Mohawk. Has to be one of the coolest looking aircraft ever. Now, again, we haven't really seen much about it. It's not one of these kits that's been done to death over the years. There is a couple of awkward, horrible fitting versions out there, but this is the first time I think we've seen it in 72nd and being a new tool kit after what has been quite a while. So, Gorgeous box art, love the box art, that sort of real nice digital effect uh, with the actual speed and um, with it. So as you can see, the OV-10, or sorry, the OV-1 is basically one of these sort of, you know, an observation light attack aircraft, things like that. So it's got that very, very distinctive uh, cockpit area at the front. So looking around on the box, we've got a couple of bits about the options down in there as well. We've got a bit on the end there. So your kit number for this one is CP72016. A little bit with the scale of measurements down there so it's looking at around about 17 centimeters by sort of 18 centimeters uh, 195 parts so there we go and it's got photo etch which I did not know it's got photo etch 130 parts that sounds like quite a threat of spruce so in the box which is a box within a box we can see we have a flip open type box and we are greeted by couple of bags of sprues so we've got some sprues in there and we've got some sprues down in there that is a lot of photo etch tiny little bits so and we've got the decals down in there and on the other side as well and we have down in here a very nice little booklet which oh it is together it looks like it's oh it has oh it's not stapled that explains whilst it's coming adrift so there we go saving money don't worry about staples so down in here We've got obviously the sprue layouts. Obviously you can see photo etch, there's two bits of photo etch in there as well. And we've got all the decals. And then straight into it, just down in here, you can see we've obviously got the seat going together, the backs of the seats going through there. And again, we've got photo etch, which is making up a lot of the details. So cushions, ejection handles, things like that as well, they're all done. And again, all the harnesses. So you've got a lot of detail going around in these little seats. And then obviously we've got more for the instrument panel so we've got some photo etch down in there as well as obviously a decal putting onto the front so that's quite nuts more photo etch there's tons of it around the actual cockpit area as you're bringing all this together as you can see right the way down there so you've got an option of using photo etch uh, as well as obviously the decal going onto the photo etch part as well so lots of lamination it is don't forget this is still 70 second so loads of detail cockpit obviously going together side walls things like that and then obviously the nose gear being fitted in this one painting up those side walls and then bringing it together it looks like we've got a little bit of a wing spar system going right through here as well okay onto the other side it's in two this way around uh, we've got the actual uh, wheel wells being fitted as well, taking care of all of those ones in there. And then obviously depending on different versions, or I think you've got wingtip removal on this one. And then again, loads of detail making up the actual wheel well uh, formers down in there as well. So that's very nice indeed. Uh, then we're around to this way up. So again, you've got wings going on and we have got a wing spar, so that should help with alignment. Then you've got all the plates going on around here as well. So you've got gear up, gear down type options, I think, down in here. And then over here, you obviously got with the gear open and closed uh, engines. So we've got obviously making up the actual engine nacelles down onto the outside. Tail planes, full moving parts. This kit just keeps giving top of the roof so I'm looking at this it looks quite modular in a lot of ways so expecting other versions to come out of this as well but again movable rudder posable rudder right the way through and all the tail planes and obviously same with the ailerons and then we've got those shorter wingtips being fitted on the outside you are going to need a chunk of uh, nose weight in this one because uh, otherwise you're going to end up with a tail sit up clear parts all being fitted onto this one props being fitted in there and we've got the gear gear being fitted down into this one again detailed work inside the doors and all the rest of it and actually it's a very detailed gear uh, with those being fitted in there and then the final lumps and bumps all over it as you might imagine so again photo etch is playing a very large part and as you can see we've got photo etch for all the aerials and antennas and things like that down underneath there as well then you've got the flaps and the various bits and pieces being fitted down on this one onto the trailing edges and then again we've got speed brakes as well obviously deployed in or out and then windows and various things you can have those done for the boarding ladder so you can have it open or closed which is a really nice touch weaponry being fitted down onto this one and then uh, these look like chaff pods did they even have flaring chaff pods in those days whether well, that a requirement and then obviously we've got weapons fit 
uh, down in there as well. So we got a couple of, uh, uh, I think they're napalm tanks, and then obviously we've got rocket pods as well down there fitted. Markings, again, we've got December 1964 in Vietnam, uh, 63, and then what we've got in here, 66. Nice colourful one, uh, to be honest, down in there. And again, loads of detailed painting information down here as well for the walkways uh, to make that up as well. So again, very nice indeed. That has to be one of the most detailed instruction things I've seen for a long time. There's lots going on down in here. So a lot of that we were just looking at is the all important photo etch. So you do get a massive chunk of photo etch down in this one. And as you can see, I won't take it out of the bag because there's not a great deal of point, but as you can see, there's a nice chunk of photo etch with all of those different parts in there, which is really gonna sharpen it up and bring it to life. We've got a few more on the other side as well. So that's very nice indeed. We've got some markings <coughs> just down in here for the broken up type markings, all the more solid ones and the usual bits and pieces just down in here as well. And those look all very nicely printed. No problem with that. So that's really good stuff. Right, okay, so if we start uh, with the fuselage bits. So separate bags for the clear parts, which is nice. So that keeps those handy. I'll tell you what, we'll have a look at those now, since we've got them right here. Nice little zip bag, good, clean, and actually not too bad at all. There's a little tiny bit of distortion, but it's a complicated curve on those ones. So okay, and again, they've got the wing tips for the lights done in clear parts as well. So that makes things a little bit easier if you don't like messing around with those. So that's pretty good with the clear parts. And now we can sort of turn our attention to the main fuselage bits and you can see loads of beautiful recess panel lining on this you've got uh, actual the the rivets and the various bits and pieces showing as well around some of the access hatches and stuff very nice job as well nice bit of work on the floor as well got some detail down in there which is quite nice inside we've got a little bit of formal work down here at the front very nice nice little aircraft okay this one down in here We've got the various parts. And again, you've got that sort of soundproofing fabric effect right the way through. We've got the instrument panel. We've got the rocket pods down in here. These chapel flare buckets down in this one. We've got the pylons. Again, really nicely done. Again, beautiful detail. The detail on these rocket pods, for instance, fantastically done. Very, very nice indeed. And again, blindside, no problem with that at all. Okay, then we've got some of the scoops and dive brakes. And again, we've got individual riveting right the way over these dive brakes, things like that. And again, very nicely done. On Even on the blind side, it's a tiny little bit of flash down here on the props and things like that. But generally, very nicely done. Good, clean and crisp, which is what we like to see. Very nice. Okay, so wings and things down in here. <clears throat> and again, straight into the, the wings, you can see gorgeous, gorgeous detail right the way over. So plenty of access ports down in here on the underside and on the top side. Again, you've got some really nice details right the way over this. You could pop in with a little bit of riveting as well right the way around it. Seems like it's got a funny texture on here, but it's not. It's fine, absolutely fine. So that's really very nice indeed. And on the inside, again, open out those very fine holes for the pylons. We've got the first details down in there of the fixings for the ribs as well. That's very nice indeed on there. And again, as we said, this is obviously the longer wing uh, one, or you can do obviously be cutting it back for the shorter version with the Mark One. So again, more of the control surfaces and all the parts, as you can see down in here, again, all very nice and clear and sharp. No problem with any of those. A little bit of flash around, but honestly, I won't worry about it too much. Again, we were talking about over here, this is open nose wheel door. This is it with it all closed up. Nice touch that you've got a system like that. So it's just putting it on or not. So that's very, very good. And again, details, absolutely beautiful. And even on the blind side, it's very, very nicely done. Good, clean, sharp details right the way through. That's very nice. And then last up, we sort of got the engine nacelles and bits and pieces down in here again. 
sprue D, we've got the nose there. But again, the profiling is very nicely done with this sort of one piece, almost front end to the engines. And again, for the gear in the closed position, so there's no detail, but the rest of it's actually got loads and loads of detail, which is really, really nice. And there you have it. I have to say, I'm really blown away with that. This is one of those kits, we've known about it's coming for a while, and it's quite an interesting aircraft, or I find it an interesting aircraft. Light observation, light attack aircraft, I'm quite a fan of. And uh, the Mohawk is one of those aircraft that I think has been really overlooked. There's been a couple of versions around in 48 scale, and I have built one, and it was a right handful to do. And I wasn't that happy with it, if I'm honest, and things like that. And again, it would be nice to have another new one come along. And then this one was obviously released in 70 second, not really a 70 second scale builder, but wow! absolutely blown away this has got more detail than the 48 scale one ever had that photo etch is going to make a world of difference it's going to add so much to this actual kit going right the way through to add all of that tiny little detail which will be totally in scale with 70 second and again you don't have to use it all you can cherry pick the bits you want the best bits the stuff that's going to be seen so if you don't want to mess around with it everywhere you don't have to you can just use those parts and go along decals are really nice the clear parts are nice and there's some really nice good design options in this one like a we were saying the wheel wells having that plate which does the entire thing gear up with the doors closed or again you can have it open and then obviously the main gear as well having a one-piece plug which fits in so actually having it in the gear up wing spars into this one the engine the cells there's not eject bins everywhere but the crispness and the detail that's in the molding as well is an absolute gorgeous thing to behold so there we go that's clear pops very very highly recommended 70 second scale mohawk Thank <laughs> you.